Okay, now for question four, uh, figure 4.1 shows a crane suspending a 200 kg, so it is the mass, concrete block in the mid-air in another construction site. The concrete block is 10 meters above the ground level, so this is the height. Okay, now as you calculate the gravitational potential energy possessed by the concrete block, so this is uh, just a very simple calculation for GPE. GPE is equals to m g h so 200 multiplied by 10 multiplied by the height which is for 10 so what you're going to get is 20,000 joules of energy so 20,000 now they say the wire ropes attached to a concrete block was suddenly lo suddenly loosened and the block fell down to the ground determine the speed of the concrete block just before it hits the ground so as the as the block moves down okay it will accelerate down Okay, and when it's just before it reaches the ground, okay, we can actually find the maximum speed by knowing that the energy that is being converted is GPE converted to KE because as it drops down, the GPE is being lost. As it gets lower and lower, as more and more GPE is lost, the KE will actually increase. So, to determine the speed, we know that the GPE loss must be equals to the KE gain. So we just equate the two formulas here and because it's all the way to the bottom, so the GPE loss is equals to 20,000. So 20,000 is the GPE loss. This equals to half mv square. So just insert the value here, half times the mass, mass of the block is 200 times v square. So 100, cancel, cancel. so v square is equals to 200. And um, if you were to do your math, you realize v is equals to square root 200. So this will be equivalent to 14.1 meter per second. 14.1. Okay? Now, in part C, as a concrete block hits the ground, it penetrates through before coming to a stop. It causes a dent of 0 0.10 meters in the ground as shown. Okay, so this is the ground. Initially, it was at this level, but because it has damaged the ground, so the ground has sunk in by 0 0.10 meters. Calculate the force caused by the concrete block on the ground. So th at this point here, you think about it, there's only a few formulas that come to mind about force. F equals to MA. Um, work done equals to force times distance. Um, what else do you have about force? And I think these are the general formula they have about forces. Or pressure equals to force over area. But looking at all the clues given, all you have is just a depth of 0 0.10 meters. So I don't have acceleration. I don't have the contact area, neither do I have the pressure. So the only possible one is actually work done equals to force times distance. So let's try it out. Now, work done is, if you think about it in terms of unit, it's in joules. Or it's in joules. So it's also somewhat like a form of energy. Okay, so what we know is that okay, just before it crashes to the ground, okay, it has maximum KE, and we know that the GPE lost is equals to the KE gain. So what we know is that the total work done will also be equivalent to work done will also be equals to the total KE loss because it has come to a stop. The total KA loss is actually 20,000, which will be also equals to force multiplied by distance. So what we're going to have is 20,000 is equals to the force multiplied by 0 0.10 meters. So 20,000 divided by 0 0.10. So F is equals to 200,000. Right? So the, the link here we just need to know is that um, GPE, KE, work done, is all about this concept called the conservation of energy. Okay, that's the, that's the principle we are trying to apply here all the time. 